Hello everyone and welcome back to another Remnant to the Forgotten King DLC video. In this one we're talking about the Emissary boss and its rewards and outcomes for its dialogue. But first we're going to show you how to get to the Emissary boss before we go over it. So you begin in the Ancient Canopy at the start of the DLC and from the first checkpoint next to the vendor you can head back down the stairs and jump across the waterfall to reach the Infested Abyss. Inside, you simply need to make your way to the very bottom of the abyss, and you have to defeat three different checkpoints. They're called Root Nexus Blockades, and once you destroy them, they will open up, and you can keep going until you reach the very bottom. If you checked out my other video, you will find this is where you get the Crystal Staff as well, and there is a checkpoint here. After the checkpoint, you can head up and speak with the Emissary, and there are two possible outcomes here. Either you can help him and submit, in which case he will give you a very cool item called the Profane Soulstone Amulet. This will increase your summon damage by 30% and summon movement speed by 15. It also reduces total damage reduction by 10% per active summon though. Now if you decide to not help him, he will attack you and you'll face a tough boss fight. Once he's defeated, you will get the Nearsighted Mutator. Increases the weapon critical chance and critical damage by 0.1% for each shot fired, and lasts 0.125 seconds, but it will stack up to 50 times. Once it's level 10, it increases the weapon's reload speed by 1% per stack, so it's also a good thing to get. The choice, however, is up to you on which one you prefer. Guys, I'm going over all the secrets in the new Remnant 2 DLC, so like and subscribe for more similar guides, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.